This is the right triangle similarity tutorial. We're going to begin this tutorial by teaching you about geometric mean. This is a really key concept to right triangle similarity, so just follow me with this. The geometric mean is the positive square root of the product of two numbers. So if you were given a proportion, like a over x is equal to x over b, all you need to do is use the cross product property rule. So multiply a times b and set that equal to x times x. Knowing that a and b would be integers, numbers in your problem, you could use them to solve for that variable x. So let's use that to solve for a couple examples. Find the geometric mean between these sets of numbers. Let's begin with 4 and 16. Well, to find the geometric mean between 4 and 16, we'll plug 4 in for a and 16 in for b. So we'll have a, which is 4, over x, and we'll set that equal to x over b, which is 16. Now remember to just use your cross product property rule here, so we'll multiply 4 times 16 and we'll get 64, and we'll set that equal to x times x, which is x squared. Now we want to solve for x, so we'll take the square root to get rid of that square, and whatever we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other. So the square root of 64 is 8, and the square root of x squared is x. So in this case, x is equal to 8. Now let's take a look at 8 and 21. Again, we'll put 8 in for a, and we'll write that over x, and we'll set that equal to x over b, which in this case is 21. Now 8 times 21 is 168, and we want to set that equal to x squared. Now again, we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation because we want to get x alone. Now in this case, 168 doesn't factor out anything well, the square root of that, so we're just going to use prime factorization. I'll break this down into 4 and 42. 4 we can break down into 2 and 2, and 42 will break down into 2 times 21, while 21 breaks down into 3 times 7. Now I see a pair of 2's in all of this, so I can take 1, 2 out from under the radical, and I've got a 2, a 3, and a 7 all left alone. So I'm going to multiply those three numbers together and get that 42 again, and that's going to stay under the square root. There's nothing we can do to bring that out. And that's equal to the square root of x squared, which is x. Alright, now that you have a little practice using the geometric mean, we're actually going to apply this to right triangles now. In a right triangle, the altitude of the triangle to the hypotenuse will form two triangles that are not only similar to each other, but to the original triangle as well. So let me show you an example. Here we have triangle QRT, and we've drawn in the altitude of QS. By drawing in that altitude, we've divided the large right triangle QRT into two smaller right triangles. One triangle here, QRS on the left, is the smallest of the three, and QST is the medium-sized right triangle of the three. So now, using what you know of triangle similarity, what I'd like you to do is establish a similarity between those three triangles. I'll show you what it is. So let me show you the similarities of these three triangles. The large triangle, RTQ, is similar to the small triangle, RQS, and the medium triangle, QTS, and let me show you how. On the large triangle, we've begun at the vertice at the top of the shortest side, the shortest side being QR. We travel along the hypotenuse to vertice T, and then along the second longest side to Q. So for triangle RQS, we should start at the vertice at the top of the shortest side, in this case R again. We'll travel along the hypotenuse to Q, just like we did with the large triangle, and then we'll travel along the second longest side to vertice S. So we label it RQS. The medium triangle, we start the same way. 
at the vertices at the top of the shortest side, in this case Q, then we travel along the hypotenuse to T, and then down the second longest side again to S. That way we've labeled them in the same exact order for all three triangles, so we know that that's the similarity between those three triangles. Now what we can do is turn this into an actual problem. So, what if I gave you some values here? Like that segment RS has a length of 2, segment ST has a length of 4, segment RQ has a length of B, and segment QT has a length of A. And then I asked you to find A and B. Well, we could use what we know of the geometric mean and the similarity between these three right triangles to solve for A and B. What we first want to do is set up some proportions comparing two sides of the same two triangles. So, for example, in this case, I'd like to compare side RT of the large triangle, which is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse of the large triangle. And I'm going to compare that to side QT, a side that I don't know, which is A. And that is the hypotenuse of the medium triangle. So hypotenuse of medium triangle. Notice how I did hypotenuse over a hypotenuse, and I'm comparing large to medium. So on the right side of this proportion, I'm going to be comparing large to medium again, just two different side lengths than the hypotenuse. So for example, on the right side, on top, QT, since we're doing the large triangle, QT is the second largest side of the large triangle. It's the medium length side. So I'm going to write medium for medium length side of the large triangle. And ST right here is the medium length side of the medium triangle. QST. See how this is the short side, this is the medium length side, and side A is across from the 90 degree angle, so it's the hypotenuse. So ST is the medium length side of the medium sized triangle. So medium of medium sized triangle. Now that we know that comparison, we can put in the numbers from those segments. So for example, segment RT we know is the sum of 2 plus 4, which is 6. So RT over here will be 6. And we'll write that over QT, and QT, you can see, is A. We'll set that equal to QT again which is A. QT serves as the hypotenuse of the medium length triangle and as the medium side of the large triangle. And we'll set that over ST. And ST has a length of 4. Now we'll use what we know of the geometric mean to cross multiply. So 6 times 4 is 24. And A times A is A squared. We want to take the square root of both sides of the equation so that we can get A alone. And what we get for an answer is A is equal to 2 root 6. Now that we know that A is equal to 2 root 6, we can go ahead and solve for B. So we'll just get rid of this work. And we'll set up a proportion for B. In this case, notice how our proportion is going to change. It's going to change to RT over RQ is equal to RQ over RS. Now just so you know where I'm getting these segments from is I'm trying to establish a way that I can compare that side RQ containing the variable B. I'm trying to compare that to two known numbers. Those known numbers that I could plug in for the other two missing sides. Remember from our geometric mean equation we had A over X is equal to X over B. So we had two known integers and we were comparing it to that missing variable. So in this case, RQ is our missing variable B, which is why we have RQ in the place of that X from the geometric mean. I'll write the geometric mean equation over here again just so you can see it. So X is in the same place of RQ in this equation, and RQ we know to be B. So let's take a look at what I'm comparing in these two proportions. RT is the hypotenuse of the large triangle. It has a length of 6. So I know that I have the hypotenuse of the large triangle here. And I'm comparing that to RQ, which we know has to be the hypotenuse of something else, either the small or the medium length triangle, because you want to compare hypotenuse over hypotenuse. 
or medium length leg over medium length leg, or small leg over small leg. In this case, I've chosen to compare the hypotenuse because it works for this problem. So RQ is the hypotenuse of the small triangle. So the hypotenuse of the small triangle, which means that for the other proportion on the right side of the equal sign, I need to compare the large triangle to the small triangle again. But I'll have to choose a side, and I want to choose a side that contains that variable B. So in this case, what contains the variable B of the large right triangle is side RQ. And side RQ, in terms of the large right triangle, is the smallest side of that large right triangle. So I know that I'm comparing the smallest side of the largest triangle. So down below, I want to be comparing the smallest side of the smallest triangle. And the smallest side of the smallest triangle is RS. So smallest side of the smallest triangle. Now let's just plug the numbers in for these. RT, like we said, has a length of 6. RQ is the variable we're solving for, B. We want to set that equal to RQ, which is B again, over RS, which has a length of 2. Then we'll just use the cross product property rule. 6 times 2 is 12, and B times B is B squared. We want to solve for B, so we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation, and we get B is equal to 2 root 3. And remember, A was equal to 2 root 6. So that's how you use the geometric mean to solve for right triangle similarity.